Tony Parker has been one of the key elements of Peak Sports success since he signed with the brand in 2013. From the time his TP line was established, the brand has been one of the biggest sports brands not only in China but also in different parts of the world. Good day to all, this is Lance, we will be doing a detailed review of the Peak TP6 in this edition of Sneak Previews. The TP6 is the sixth installment from Peak's Tony Parker Signature Series and it comes in a Tony Parker generic packaging similar to the past installments from 2013 and beyond. I'm currently repping the San Antonio Spurs as a way of paying tribute to Tony Parker's tremendous career with the team. As you all know, he won four titles with San Antonio in 2003, 2005, 2007, and 2014. He became a finals MVP in 2007 and he became a six-time All-Star as well. And now Tony Parker is playing with the Charlotte Hornets, which is owned by his childhood idol, Michael Jordan. We wish him all the best in the future. Well-deserved career. He deserves to be a Hall of Famer. Moving on to the real thing. I got this pair at Zilingo.com. So thank you so much, Zilingo and Peak Sports Philippines for informing us. I uh, can't wait to rock them on the court soon. And yeah, we got the pair. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for informing us. I'm loving this pair, really. Besides the TP5, the TP6 is one of Tony's go-to pairs for the Charlotte Hornets. And this shoe was created last 2018 and was distributed in multiple colorways in different peak stores in the world. Four of them were delivered here in the Philippines. Well, I got here with me the two of the four colorways of the peak TP6 available here in the Philippines. And these are in the San Antonio Spurs home colorway and in the San Antonio Spurs alternate or Team Bank Grey White colorway? I don't know. What do you think? I ordered this colorway because this kind of matches of what Tony Parker currently wears with the Charlotte Hornets, except that there are no teal colors on the accents of the shoe. And this colorway was ordered by my sneak previous partner and best child of Calavest, so please stay tuned to his review on the Peak TP6 in the upcoming days. I'm not sure if the three Charlotte Hornets colorways of the TP6 will be released generally, so I hope they do. The fans will definitely love it. I heard that there will be Chinese New Year colorways coming for the Peak TP6, so please stay tuned for more updates as well. Moving on to the overall aesthetics of the shoe. Like most people say, the TP6 reminds them of the Crazy Light Boost 2.5 from Adidas. And some say that the 4 foot part reminds them of the T-Mac 1s and T-Mac 2s from Adidas as well. Unlike the past TP pairs wherein they used mostly engineered mesh or fuse material, they now moved on to utilizing knit materials on their shoes, which is also applied in DH3, DH4, and the Streetball Master. And I'm not sure how Peak calls their knit materials on their upper of the shoe. But for me, Peak has done a great job in utilizing knits. I like how the gray fades to white on this shoe, very nice. Same thing to the white fading to black as well. And this is the first time that Peak has done to their tongue of the shoe. This is not flipping or anything, this is attached on the upper. And look how the TP logo is nicely placed at the middle of the tongue of the shoe. The lacing system is good, although it will be much nicer if you add additional eyelets here and here for better support. Like most people say, the laces can be more improved because I think this one is an old school type of lace. I think this kind of lace is much better to use than the flat old school ones. This is the lace from the DH1s. And also this kind of lace would be much better to use than the flat ones, the flat old school ones of the TP6. These are the laces from the TP5s. And look at the lining over here, looks thick, plush. And look at the back. Look at the pull tab over here, there's a number 9 placed on it, very nice. As you can see on the heel part, Peak utilized the P-Boom technology. This is the translucent plastic attached on the midsole. This is responsible to enhance your foot stability. And as you can see, the word infinity is written on the P-Boom of this shoe. Probably it stands for infinite stability. I don't know, what do you think? And yeah, don't be confused with the P-Boom and the Peak STA. P-Boom is for the heel part 
While the Peak ST8 is for the outrigger, this one is used in the Team Lightning 6. And now we move on to the outsole of the shoe. And as you all know, the Peak TP series utilizes the gradient dual technology which provides balance between court feel and comfort. And like most of the pairs in the TP series, the TP6 used a combination of solid and clear rubber on the outsole. And look how the number 9 in the Peak logo is nicely embossed. And I'm sure that this one will work on clean floors. And as you know, this, there are words and significant dates written on the outsole. And there is the graded dual engraved on this one. Very nice. And as you see, there is loyal, family, which are some of the words that will remind you of Tony Parker. And on the right shoe, it says here, yeah, the graded dual script. It says love and passion and some of the significant dates of his life. And as you can see over here, one of the most significant dates of Tony Parker's life is August 2, 2014. I think this one is the start of his married life to Axel Francine. Smell test? I bet you will. <laughs> yeah, I love the smell of new shoes. That's it. <laughs> so that's a wrap. On a detailed review of the PTP6, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you're not yet part of our sneak preview adventure, please subscribe to our channel. Till the next, God bless. Oopsies. Good day to all. Good day to all. Good day to all, yo. <laughs> Good day to all. This is Lancet. We have. Uh, <laughs> Tony uses the TP6 as his go-to shoes for Charlotte Hornets and I believe that he feels comfortable wearing this pair so much. Mochi, quiet! Mochi, quiet! And it comes in a... Tony Parker... From the time he his t oh, blah, 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 blah. and now it's Moe's turn. Moe, stop! <laughs> Bullet. Moving on to the Bullet. <laughs> Moe, do you want to see Moe? I'm sure you've seen the bloopers already. If you heard any dog barking on the background earlier, Moe is one of them. So here is Moe. He's a Pekingese. So Moe, Moe, what are you doing, Moe? Say hi. Moe, say hi. Moe, say hi. Say hi, Moe. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Good morning. Actually, someone from Chinese Kicks Philippines, one of the members there requested me to do a review on the Peak TP6. So, uh, whoever you are, if you're watching, this episode is for you. To all people who are interested in getting to know more about Chinese brands like Leaning, Peak, and 361 Degrees, we invite you to join Chinese Kicks Philippines on Facebook. The link will be posted on the screen right now. Thank you so much and hope to see you again soon.